Hi everybody, how are you today? Well, I've got an other deck and I'm going to do a review on the White Witch Tarot and it is by Maya Doust, I think. I can't see it very well because it's not written that well. It's not very clearly written. But it looks absolutely awesome. It's black and gold and it looks like a face and then you've got like balloons and it's supposed to be hair I suppose and then the same copy of faces so that's really nice I'm excited about this well we've finished the um, witches oracle deck and that was my last witches deck and we've got the the spooky deck um, Shadowlands from Monica Bavinsky so I'm really wondering what this will be like there we go and it's got a, a little tag so that you can open it it's magnetized it's absolutely beautiful it's Maya de Aust okay and that's what the inside looks like that's how it comes with a piece of paper very nicely done I'll just read what is inside it Maya is a practicing white witch whose interest in alchemy and the esoterical sciences spans her entire lifetime. After completing her bachelor's degree in biochemistry, Maya studied oriental uh, medicine and later earned her master degree in transformational psychology with a focus on shamanism and the I Ching. Maya writes about alchemy and magic and lectures nas nationally on esoterical topics. She works for her non-profit The Well Wishes along with Dr. Calvin DeWolf to bring education and services of ancient knowledge to the community of Los Angeles or Los Angeles and it is glossy in the box that's really voluptuous I love that word voluptuous and it's a sturdy box it's a really good magnet it's a lovely box and you've got also some description on uh, her on, on the deck use the transformative and healing power of the white witch as the white witch Maya the, the, the Doust, I think it's French, I can't pr uh, pronounce it, explores the 22 major arcana archetypes of the tarot throughout meditative art and channeled mysteries. In this stunning black golden deck and a companion guide, use this deck as a traditional tarot majors only system or delve into a technique using Proctoc. Proctagonistics and antagonistics pitted against each other until reach unification, much like Shakespearean therapy, where we explore problems via an other lens. Learn to visualize and build your own reality by discovering answers to your deepest question, bringing to light powerful truths and seeing uh, this very, very small print and seeing the radiance of the self through a poetic treatment of the mages created through decades of research into alchemy and different de definition modalities. This deck offers a fresh new perspective on using the cards to unveil what has been hidden. And agonist, uh, what, uh, that word that I was stumbling over, antagonists, antagonists, and pro antagonists. Okay, a difficult word. It's a booklet, it's black and it's quite beautiful. I like black. I'm a person that loves black. I always wear black 
except in the summer. <coughs> it's got a very big intro few pages of introduction. Well, let's see what it says. It says the White Witch Tarot, and then it says contents. The Magician, Magnetism, the High Priestess, Sensius, the Empress, Creation, the Emperor, Domination or Dominion, the Hierophant, Reception, the Lovers, Reciprocity, uh, the Chariot, Determination, Strength, Manifestation, the Hermit, in Individuation, Wheel of Fortune, Recapitula recapitulation, that's number 30, that's the wheel of uh, fortune. Uh, justice, recalibration. Well, difficult language, wow. Um, the hanged man, repentance. Death, metaphysic, metamorphosis. Uh, temperance, restraint. The devil, unrelinquishing. The tower, numinosity. The star, projection. The moon, instinct. The sun, unification. Judgment, redemption. The world, liberation. The fool, becoming. Okay. Then we've got announcements of acknowledgements, thank yous, and all that. Uh, using the deck. And then you've got like it looks like the devil or some kind of creature. And then you've got suggested technique card one. Protagonist, um, the unifier. Then you've got the three card lane. Then the cards. Magnetism. That's the magician. It's all in black and white. You've got the um, the magus is magnetic acquiring ability. You've got suggestions here. Previous occult revealed now. All right, I'll, I'll read this as an example. It's a black and white picture of the magician, and then you've got the magus is magnetic that has existed before acquiring ability. You ever thought obscuring objects? to cast a spell, weaving uh, ra uh, warp and weft, and will remain, shifting into appearances long after. What is you have made a wish, already present to become, previously occulted, the one who knows, revealed now, move magic through you, through direction of immortal primal power move magic through you as a wild wind blows well it's quite a different language it, it is really again something that I would have to study the high priestess from nothing into action many things arise enter the first mother born the per perimeter to lonely vocation, shape is massed. To lonely vocation, shape is massed. Black as pitch, as pressure influences. An endless hole, aggregating the familiar. The inverts, there are no strangers. Into coiling spiral souls. <coughs> Excuse me, in these lands. Contracting Omega carries Alpha all through buried in her hands. Okay, very interesting. This is what the pictures look like. So let's go to the cards. I'm dying to see the cards now. Um, it looks a bit Aboriginal type of drawings. Especially this. Hmm. 
looks very spooky. It's very Aboriginal like. And then you've got the description or an acknowledgement from somebody. And that was from Liberty Larson, the magician. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look. Right. This is the front of the decks. Just move that out of the way. This is the plastic has not damaged them, but it's like a hold on. We'll get there. I love my decks and I do take care of them. So the plastic is just They're uh, plastified, they're really tough, so you can clean them. That's nice. And this is the Wheel of Fortune, so they start from right at the end to the bottom. That's the Wheel of Fortune. And it's only the Big Arcana. Then we have the World. I'll have to get used to this. The artwork is beautiful. Well, let's do it this way. It's really beautiful. It, like I said, it looks very Aboriginal. The tower. And then you've got the sun. Then you've got the star. I like them. Th what speaks to me is the Aboriginal style of the drawings. The moon, and we all know that m the moon is Pisarian, and here it's depicted as a Cancer. And I, for years, I've been saying that the moon is Cancer, and it isn't. It is Pisces. And then we've got the magician. And I like the way she thinks about this, like she's um, mirrored it or reflected it. I like the bad side and the, and the good side, like the I Ching. And then the dark and the light. You can see it's much darker and much lighter on this side. So there's two sides to us, the feminine and the masculine. And then we've got the lovers. This is, these are also very, very nice for tattoos. Now, the High Priestess. Now, what does that remind you of? That reminds me of the High Priestess is really, um, a ma a, 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 right, a, also a magician really, but it, it is the heart upside down that's love and then I would say this is the womb and womb, the womb I just and that's how I see it but I, um, it could be magical eerie fingers <laughs> with long nails the hierophant they do set you to think these are the two uh, keys subconscious and the conscious even got a skull in it. I think they're really beautiful. And in this is a vicious face. So I think they're really beautiful in the artist art world. The hermits. He's a wise old man, so you can see the eagle of part of his face. And then we've got the hanged man. see that's the, the upside down I think they're uh, really nice to have as tattoos the fool the 
Empress. They are muddled up. Are you seeing me taking them out of the deck and opening the deck? So they are muddled up. The Emperor. Again, a little bit of a hawk beak and the wing of the hawk. You either like the, this deck or you don't. And the devil, I think he is one of the best drawings I've seen of the devil. The chariots. I'm glad they do have titles though because I wouldn't recognize them otherwise. And then we've got the strength. Temperance. And then we've got justice. What I like about the way uh, that I've got so many decks is I like um, judgment. I love that one. That's the prettiest of all. And then we've got death. You can sit and look at these cards for hours because there's so much, so much in just one picture. And you can see snake here. Again, the dark and the light, the opposite. We can't do without one or the other. And then we walk hand in hand with death. You have to let your imagination go. You can really, really look at these pictures and sit there for hours and see more things coming. Like the the tail of the snakes aren't just like lips and shaped into a skull. They're really beautiful cards. It's only the bigger corner, and the the stock is really good. Right, let's do a, a shovel. Well, I just have to get my. You can shovel them; they feel good, although they're strange pictures. Um, they do feel good. Uh, y you have to let this deck grow on you, and I've only had it in my hands for about a quarter of an hour. I'm going to do something else because I've just been told something. I never do this. Um, well, yes, that's I can understand now because I said I'm going to do a reading with it. <sighs> oh, I still do the old habit. Wendy said, you mustn't blow it out. You must let it. So I'm going to just... You can use um, what you might call it. These are just joysticks, and I love the smell of joysticks, and I love musk. And when I do this, I do this privately, and I do say to the angels and the divine God, "Help me, bless them, let them bring true answers, and let them work with you." And I hope you will give me good, pure answers. Thank you for guiding me. I just love cleansing my decks before I use them. So, just move it out a bit. And I did handle every card. Yes, now they feel. Now they even shovel better, believe it or not. It's crazy, isn't it? I'm going to take this one, and we've got the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. And that's the trouble with joysticks, they always leave so much rubbish behind. So we've got the Wheel of Fortune. And I'll take the book, and I'll take th her definition, Maya's definition. That's the Wheel. Let's have a look at the wheel. The wheel of fortune. I 
suppose this is a deck that um, you have to have worked with tarot for a while to be able to understand now this is like I said this will take me um, to get used to because um, the wheel of uh, fortune recapitulation we've been this way a rip has opened so something has opened like something is coming full circle new beginning before I think in the seam I muttered to my friend uh, a vantageous point indeed we are trapped the sh mm, thi that shows com circum circumference they whispered back an ex an exit to the scene. We arrived back at the end, the maypole. I am part wanderer, rises from the din. So I suppose that's the wanderer rising from the din. Okay, I am part rooted tree to grab the ring. That's the ring. I can't see the tree in here shudder and strain on this go round um, at invisible chains the origin from beginning to end yeah, I think yeah. he's eating his own tail you see uh, that wrap around eternity reveals the whole of the whole eternity a chance mistake for the glory bound for the glory bound so what goes round comes round what goes up must come down there's definitely an end he's eating his tail but everything keeps on going round in circles like I said what goes round comes round it doesn't matter which way you go <coughs> so right you can use these for casting spells, I suppose. Let's have a look. Card one. Protagonist. The role of the protagonist. The protagon uh, protagonist represents the positive force at play in the situation. These forces act in a masculine fashion. Masculine forces protect, drive forward, and rise to create. They are light, external, and exp expensive. Okay, this card is what will overcome. So this card is got the same. This is the um, card one, the protagonist, and this is what will come. So something will come to an end, and there will be a new beginning. A rebirth or going up to the next level now we're going to take card two and that's the tower the tower now card two in in her uh, spread is the antagonist the role of the antagonist the antagonist represents the negative forces at play in situation these forces act in a feminine fashion. Feminine forces gather, shift, and eliminate. They are dark, internal, and contractive. So, sudden change. Antagonist. And this is the negative force. The negative force is that something wasn't built on proper foundations and sudden changes okay and that's the negative perhaps there's too many uh, changes all at once forces at play in the situation these forces act in a feminine fashion feminine forces gather shift and eliminate they are dark internal and contractive Okay, so now we're going on to card three, and that is the unifier. 
the role of the unifier. The unifier represents the reconciliation uh, uh, relating reconcil reconciling forces at play in the situation opposing forces engage in attraction or repulsion in order to rectify their state of interaction to achieve homeostasis balance in other words the game of the universe guides through relation of opposition to a state of harmony and peace through balance I think the English is just too difficult so let's have a look we've got the Sun so everything is going to be fine there will be rising new beginning birth look at the I like the way you, you the two forces are going to come you and your feminine and masculine your bad and good will reunite and you will learn you have to learn to um, that an end is also a new beginning it can be unexpected don't fight it that's the antagonistic thing right now the Sun I'll go to the Sun and we'll have a look what the Sun says here comes the Sun sorry I always get music <coughs> I'm sitting here on my own, I'm talking to you, and I'm just <coughs> feeling at home. Okay. Unification, no gods before me, will turn you, will turn you. I eclipse them, black to blue. From the, your sight, every time I show my face, I feel all the hours, all the darkness is erased. There you go. Like I said, you'll shine. Of all your days by my immortal you I'm your no, I I'm your source of light wherever I fly the stars in space can't that my being can't take my place is what I provide none be, but no, this is not right and this is very confusing because you've got two sides to um, the card so do you read it from one sentence to the next or do you read it like no gods before me I eclipse them from your sight I will all I feel all hours of all days I'm your source of light the stars in space can't take my place none but me will turn your black to blue every time I show my face all the darkness is erased by my immortal hue I steal the dark wherever I fly my being is what I provide that's it that's how you should read it so I don't understand why they don't put the verses underneath each other it's very confusing to me it is anyway and the language is really rich language just like the cards so I just have to get used to that okay so it might be confusing this video for you but I think that's because the cards are confusing so yeah I love this card though you have to really think this this deck makes you think this deck does really make you think you have to think it's not an easy go lucky deck it is so simply drawn but yet it has an impact on you it's wow it has a wow factor It's just a big arcana, and I think that that has a an, a wow effect as well, because yeah, you have to think with this deck. Now, if you had seventy eight 
of these cards, I think it would drive you crazy. You wouldn't have time to think about it and to go into detail because they're so detailed. It's a nice deck. It's something that I will have to really go into and it's really nice for tattoos. They're really nice. Very Aboriginal, native. I think her studies and her, her studies of culture and history and art does come out in the deck. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this deck. The White Witch Tarot by Maya uh, Doust. Doust. And I will leave the IBSN number underneath the video and where you can order them. I think it's a cutie. It's definitely something that you can carry with you. It's small enough and light enough. It's very magical. That's definite. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and share. And take care. Stay safe and please give us a thumbs up. Ciao.